This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations. The Dangote refinery continues to face an uphill climb as the parent company Dangote Industries has been downgraded to B positive in a Fitch ratings. Fitch cites concerns about the company's liquidity and ability to raise money, and many analysts say that this is connected to the NNPC's inability to buy the complete 20% stake in the refinery that it had initially intended. Some experts believe that the company's success or failure could be a test of Nigeria's openness to investors. Oil and gas expert Ayodeleoni joins me now to provide more insight into this matter. Good morning and welcome to the conversation, Mr. Oni. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you on. Uh, let me start with your reaction. Uh, does it come as a surprise to see this downgrading by Fitch? No, it doesn't, it doesn't come as a surprise. Uh, because it's a, it's a build up. It's a build up of events you've seen from uh, the challenges with NNPC, um, a bit of the uh, accusations and counter accusations. Um, in the financial um, services industry and the finance world generally, and oil and gas, shine on information. If there's negative information, it's just their concerns to may not be updated on the basis of destination, then it goes to um, your ratings as it were. So uh, it didn't come to me as a surprise. The reason I expect is that it won't be a, a mid to long term thing. So, I mean, and, and just your point, right, a few experts have also said that this is really just temporary and we'll likely see the refinery, well, Dangote Industries as a whole, but tied to the refinery, we'll see them get back on their feet. Do you think it will be easy for them to sell off the stake, the 12.7% or is it that they're looking to sell off now? Um, I don't think it is necessarily easy. Uh, whether it's easy or, or difficult, or nearly impossible, would also depend on what the federal government of Nigeria does. We sort of support the provide to the company and expect that the federal government will provide support. Because, I mean, part of the support is saying you'll be able to buy crude in Naira. Um, and, and I always say in Nigeria, it's not about brilliant policies. If the, the devil is in the situation, right? Um, we say the devil is in the, the, the devil is in the detail, but in Nigeria, the devil is in the implementation, or maybe the detail of that implementation, whether it's done the way it ought to be done, or whether there's some corruption, or whether there's some um, underhand or, or, or vested interest, which is adverse to what the policy seeks to achieve. If all of this are not the case, such that he's able to buy the crude, he's able to sell the crude, uh, then then. The, we, we should see progress. Because, you know, you know it's not, what, what we see at times is we, we want inconsistencies in policies. Two, we require something. Someone invests a lot of money and then begins to face challenges rather than being celebrated. So the government sits up and actually ensures that everyone does what they ought to do. I think that it's going to be very temporary. I think it's, able to, it's going to find a lot of people looking to, to buy. Also, you hear details around international buyers. International traders like Safigura, Shell, Western, and some of the richest companies in the world. So there's something about trading, uh, trading crude. There's something about trading crude, trading uh, petroleum products. You know, if you do it properly, if you're efficient, you know. So, but, but more often than not, businesses first require support from their own nation. So if you get the support, yes, of course. We, we will see progress. And this support is what is now under, um, scrut- will I say scrutiny, contention? Because just yesterday we had the leadership of the NNPC show up before the National Assembly and um, the chief, the group chief ma- managing director, Mele Kari, he said that, look, a company has to secure its own source of crude, right? And it gave off the... Um, the perception that the NNPC may not be as inclined 
as we think they should be or as people think they should be to provide a Dangote refinery with crude. And this comes back to how they've supposedly sold. There's so many forward sales that have already been made and they don't have stock enough for him. Will we see, do you think that we'll see the company actually follow through with the uh, president's directive to sell crude in Naira to the, the refinery? Uh, well, it, 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 um, it, 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 the president and the Federal Executive Council's uh, ultimate decision. Um, yes, um, NNPC has been converted to a company incorporated under the company that highlight matters up, and the board of directors should make the call. But to the extent that the board is uh, chosen by the uh, federal government, the shareholder is the federal government, and generally speaking, uh, the most influential shareholder still impact or determine the direction of any company. I think to the extent that there's a political will behind what the, what the president has stated, I think that uh, he, he would have stated it with that, he would have stated it with sufficient information and advice from his um, um, number of advisors. So I expect that if he stated that, uh, would he believe that there was sufficient, or with the knowledge, you know, and advice that there was sufficient crude. Mm. So I expect that, I recall that it's not all of the crude that is supposed to be sold into the domestic market. One, two, there is a domestic reserve, there's a crude, uh, there's an obligation and a, 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 a CIA, Petroleum Industry Act, to reserve particular quantity for domestic sales. And they were in fact where they were guided issued three weeks, four weeks ago by the upstream commission uh, to ensure that this is the case. Yes, there is not a number of companies and you can't really stop companies from doing forward sale arrangements. Um I mean to be able to uh, raise funds to develop their assets. So what we just also need to do, I always say that many of our problems can be dealt with in isolation. The broader economy and economic issues, we need to be able to reduce to test. We need to, to encourage more people to um, expand risk tasks. You understand? So that we have more crude available and then energy also does have more crude because on, on its traditional joint venture, the senior partner um, and on that PSC arrangement, it, it actually owns the asset mm. and only shares production. With the um, inter- uh, with the IOC, so once the NNPC is not supposed to be selling all of the food locally, it is reserved quantity to I believe the president from a place of knowledge because he has advisors and the policies would have been well thought for being said. So when the NNPC um, um, man might have certain concerns, I'm not sure he said we will absolutely not do what the president has asked us. To do, I do not think what? we're a country that wants to destroy its own best business people. Mm. I doubt that that's the case. Mr. Oni, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on this matter. I appreciate your time. Ayodele Oni is an oil and gas expert speaking to me on the recent downgrading of Dangote Industries by Fitch Ratings. It's gone from a double A to B positive and this is directly tied to the Dangote refinery and its liquidity issues. We'll be bringing you updates out of this as we learn of them. You're listening to Now Breakfast. This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations.